All right, guys, this is a, a review. I usually don't do toy reviews, um, but this is uh, the Avenger Force. It's one of the vehicles that I, I uh, or the companies, uh, they make pretty good vehicles um, to modify. Uh, they have a few out there, the Jeep, uh, the Rubicon, uh, the four door with uh, extended bed Jeeps. Um, they're, they come out with some really good uh, vehicles for the G.I. Joe universe. Um, the Raptor and uh, some uh, modified um, vehicles that I don't even know if they exist. But um, but yeah, um, this one, I was super excited, of course, to see the, uh, the Bronco uh, redone, um, the newer Bronco. So I got super excited when I saw this, especially um, some of the features and the details that went on. Um, I was super excited to get this. I got it, and then I was disappointed. Um, and just to let you, we'll do the review real quick here. Um, I was a little bit disappointed on the scale. Uh, the scale is off. Um, I'm kind of a stickler. I mean, playability, yeah, you could still play with it and, and whatnot, but... It just looks off when you put it up to other vehicles for me. Um, of course, you know, keep in mind that, of course, this is all opinion. So I'm sure you have your own opinions. Um, but just to give you a heads up. So one of the awesome details about this vehicle uh, and the vehicles they're doing nowadays is that they're making these body panels removable. So you can see screws for each of these panels, which makes it awesome. Um, you could custom paint these which I usually do custom paint them um, and you can remove these panels um, and then do your own uh, your own painting on this uh, your own uh, color scheme on these I'm super excited to work with these um, for that so this is these are the pluses um, it also comes with um, tail lights they're uh, translucent tail lights and headlights so it's easily converted into um, into a working headlights and working tail lights. It even has little fog lights on the bottom. Um, these side uh, blinker lights, uh, yellow blinker lights. Um, I believe they're well. They're transparent right here, so I'm sure if you get through the back, I'm sure you can do it as well. Um, they finally did, which I was. Um, I always wonder why they never did a transparent uh, windshield, but they finally put it in there. Transparent windshield, super cool. Um, I bought two of these. The first one that I bought, these tires were just flimsy and they just fell off. Uh, as soon as I brought it out of the package, they they completely fall off. It doesn't take much to to uh, to make these fall off. Um, if you buy it for your kids, uh, they're probably gonna. Be slightly disappointed with the playability of those wheels because if you uh, the other one if I shook it they the wheels completely fell off and these I mean I don't use any force so any kids gonna be able to take those off no big deal on those wheels uh, considering what I use it for which is customize customizing it so those wheels were probably gonna be taken off anyway so um, even the smaller detail were the brake light, the assisted brake light up back here is still translucent. Super cool. The cab is pretty nice. Um, it looks to be 118 scale. And then you put a figure in there and it's no good. Um, and other, uh, other reviews have mentioned it too. The passenger side, there's no leg room. Which is weird because there's plenty of space for them to have opened that up. And be able to put more figures. Uh, even though there is a four passenger seat, the only one that has leg room is a driver's seat. Uh, the other ones don't. Um, even the back seats don't have it. Uh, it's, they're just impeded by the front seats. So one of the biggest things, uh, it, I mean, visually looking at it, I thought, yeah, it's 118 scale. But then I looked at the door. And the size of the door is practically the size of a figure. And that's just right off the bat. I was like, "Wait a minute here," um, and it just it it didn't it doesn't look right. I right, so this is an old school one eighteen scale, um, and it just doesn't. I don't know. It just doesn't sit right. Um, so even when you put it 
up against uh, up against the GI Joe right next to it. The door just looks massive. I mean, I don't uh, I don't know what else to say about it. The door looks massive. It just looks disproportionate. I haven't seen one of these Broncos in person. Maybe the door is like that. Who knows? It just looks disproportionate. Um, even if I put um, the newer Rock, which is the bigger version of the new 4-inch GI Joes, the door still looks massive. Uh, it's disproportionate even to the biggest GI Joe scale, 118 scale. Um, I don't know. So, you know, right off the bat, looking at it, look, looking at the comparison, um, I'm, it was pretty much a waste of time for me as far as using it for a 118 scale. Um, uh, as far as this is concerned, it's not going to be in the G.I. Joe universe. But I did have other figures, um, the Walking Dead figures, which are, I want to say are more like one, not 112 scale, but more like 114 scale. Um, the newer G.I. Joes, I want to say they're more 116th. Um, especially the rock considering he's taller and bigger uh, he, he, he kind of you know dances around the 116 scale um, but these I would say are like 114 scale um, and then uh, you know comparison if you put them standing there they look more proportional to the vehicle the door doesn't seem like super massive even though it's still pretty big but it's it almost looks okay um, these these are I believe 114 scale I want to say um, I'm not too sure accurate about that but uh, even when you sit them down inside the cab they look uh, they look proportional to the vehicle so that's my biggest complaint about this is the the scale size I I think they missed it um, I'm gonna also review the ATV and the accessories here in a little bit um, but uh, as far as the um, Walking Dead figures. Um, uh, these figures are awesome in detail as far as face and clothing and weathering is concerned except that um, their articulation is pretty horrible even the articulated joints that are supposed to be moving don't move um, easily so there's there's a hip joint here for the leg um, and there's zero like little to no movement here why even put a joint there if you know you can't even move it um i mean it's slight i mean you're talking millimeters um the hands are are good but the legs it's pretty horrible so in case you know for this one i did have to modify it a lot um did a lot of grinding in here in order for uh her to be in a sitting position um let me just put it in there real quick That noise was just different plastic sheet and breaker legs. So as you can see, um, she looks a lot more natural, more to scale for the vehicle. Um, so this is the figure that I'm gonna be using when I custom make this vehicle. Unfortunately, it's gonna be a loner. She's not gonna have uh, much company and much shelves. So I'll probably sell it after I custom make it. Um, I do have two of these, so maybe I might make two. Who knows? So, um, so yeah, there you go. You, there's a 114 scale. To me, this is a 114 scale uh, Bronco. Um, so, well, keep an eye out for that modification. Um, considering that my mods are a little bit uh, delayed most of the time. Probably be another six months before you see that one. Because I have a bunch of other projects. Um, the accessories here. Uh, the accessories are pretty cool. Um, it comes with the ATV. Uh, toolbox. Some cones. The motorcycle. The figure and the trailer. Um, the trailer tires are tiny. Um, again disproportionate to anything that I've ever seen. Um, they kind of look like wheelbarrow, wheelbarrow 118 scale tires. Um, they're just... Not proportionate, but the trailer's pretty cool. The ATV, again, um, 
disproportionate to the 118 scale. Um, so this is this is the same ATV. It's just from the other packet. I haven't released that one. So this is the 118 scale ATV. Um, it looks good with old school GI Joes. So old school GI Joes almost fit perfectly for this ATV. Um, the ATV still looks a little bit small. But um, you can still pull it off. Uh, the 118 uh, old school GI Joes are a little bit smaller. Um, but if you try to put Snake Eyes 118 scale, uh, 118 scale, so the 4 inch GI Joes on this, kind of looks like they're riding a, a kid ATV. You know, ATVs come in different sizes, but it just looks small. Um, you know, if you're not a stickler for size or comparison size, um, you know, it works, but, uh, it's just not for me. Um, I'm too much of a stickler for that stuff. I try to be at least, um, for it to look realistic. This is another ATV. This is the ATV that, uh, I got a while back ago. Um, that is what I consider a scale 118 scale ATV. Uh, that's the ATV that I used for the base for my custom um, ATV RC. Uh, who makes it? Now this is originally um, an RC. Uh, of course, toy grade RC. It was pretty cool, it's pretty cheap. Uh, I believe, oh, let me check real quick. Treehouse Kids. Uh, Tree Treehouse Kids is the brand for this one. Right there in the corner. They made they made them, and it was it was it was kind of like lightning, man. It's they struck with this, and it was on the shelves. I would say like two three months. I only saw a few of them, but then they discontinued them really really quick, which was a shame. I mean for for a small package and yeah it was toy rc it was toy grade uh rc but it was it was still cool i mean to run around in the kitchen floor maybe outside and some light light dirt uh it was still fun it had a lot of playability to it um the body was just perfect i think it's perfectly scaled um as you can see it just looks natural it looks rugged um, yeah, I still have to work on finishing this ATV off and, um, put some, some accessories, some weapons on it, some we weapons carriages on it, and then upgrade the motor on it. Um, if you haven't seen the video, go for it and check it out if you're interested. So yeah, that's, uh, that's my review for the, uh, Bronco. Um, it, you know, if... If you're not a stickler on, on scale size, by all means, if you like uh, um, The Walking Dead and want to make them a vehicle, that would be a perfect vehicle for all sorts of zombie destruction. Actually, that would be kind of really cool. Maybe the second one, I'll, I'll do that. I've never done a, a zombie killer. Um, it, it'd be good with roof rack and whatnot. Anyhow, um, yeah, I'm going off here on a tangent. Um, so if you have any questions, if you want me to review anything else that might be out there or that you, you've seen in my, uh, on my posts, uh, let me know. And, uh, if you have any questions, just, you know, type me up something on my YouTube channel and I'll try to answer as quickly as possible. All right, folks, uh, you folks have fun out there and, uh, keep on, keep on building those, uh, customs.